Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss Lucy's asteroid, Donald Johansson, 70 million kilometers away. The Lucy spacecraft that was launched has caught the first clear glimpse of Donald Johansson in the main asteroid belt. NASA has released images of the asteroid that appears like a smidge of light in photos captured by Lucy's long-range reconnaissance imager. The mission was launched to study Trojan asteroids that travel around the Sun with Jupiter and three others in the solar system. Asteroid Donald Johansson is not a Trojan, but its position in the solar system means that Lucy would be able to conduct a flyby near it. Lucy's ultimate goal is to reach the Trojans near Jupiter, study their composition, and learn more about where they possibly originated. The asteroid is named after anthropologist Donald Johansson, who discovered the fossilized hominid Lucy in 1974. Lying in the main asteroid belt, it is roughly four kilometers in diameter. The current photos show Donald Johansson at a distance of 70 million kilometers from Lucy. However, the probe will keep on closing in and carry out an extremely close flyby of the asteroid on 20 April 2025. Asteroid Donald Johansson is not a Trojan. At this point, Lucy will pass by Donald Johansson at a distance of 960 kilometers. Donald Johansson is just a stop in Lucy's journey. However, scientists are intrigued to learn more about the asteroid as it is believed to be a piece of debris left behind following a massive collision about 130 million years ago. This cosmic event supposedly created the Erigoni family of asteroids as per the Lucy mission site. Earlier, Lucy snapped asteroid Dinknesh and its tiny moon. The discovery was historic as the moon, named Selam, was found to comprise two smaller objects that were touching each other. This is known as a contact binary and was the first such instance where it was found to be orbiting an asteroid. The first Trojan asteroid Lucy would reach is Euripides, about 64 kilometers across. The aim of the Euripides flyby is to understand why the Trojan asteroids are moving together in front of Jupiter. These asteroids are believed to be remnants of the same primordial material that led to the creation of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. However, they are all different in composition and might have drifted from various parts of the solar system. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.